Hi, beautiful people. So it stopped at the man void of understanding and the man of lack of understanding. So Proverbs 6 and 32. But whosoever committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that does it destroys his own soul. Why? How does a man that commits adultery lack understanding? He lacks the understanding of their soul ties. He lacks the understanding of him polluting himself, defiling himself, and the sin that's in the of the body and of the spirit. Covenants, blood touching blood, and you break out. They under they don't understand the big sin about sexual sin and how it destroys you. He destroys his own soul. That's why the Bible tells you be not joined to a harlot. People playing to sleep with people, they destroy their own soul. People sleeping around, they destroy their own soul. People who are unfaithful like that, a sexual sin is one of the worst sins you could commit. It destroys you mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and mentally, and, and spiritually, and your own soul. Don't sell out your soul to sex. Don't sell out your soul to a harlot. God tells you don't even be joined to a harlot. Because all the spirits that they carry, when you sleep with them, you start to carry those spirits. That's why you guys start mirroring each other. You understand? That's why God gave you a wife. Because sexual sin will destroy your whole soul. It pollutes you. It poisons you. It defiles you. It destroys you. Mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. And it's unclean. You get soul ties. You start carrying these people's spirits. And it's hard to break free. You have to go on fasting to cleanse those people from you. And you think you love these people and it's lost so much evils there. So that's why Satan promotes sexual sin so often. And it's all over your face on TV, social media, and in your music. Because he doesn't want you to make heaven, new heaven, and the new earth. Please. And people think that that's pleasure. They're pleasuring their self. Sleeping with harlots. Let's get it. Let's get into Whosoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. That's why men like that, they lack understanding. He that does it destroys his own soul. Proverbs 4, I mean Proverbs 12 and 11, right? He that tilts his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that follows vain persons is void of understanding. So if you follow people that are vain, you know, vain people are prideful, people who love vanity. You're void of understanding. Proverbs 24 and 30. I went by the field of the softful and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. A man void of understanding strikes hands and becomes surety in the presence of his friends. So people who are void of understanding, they're respect of persons. They'll say, oh, my friend won't do that. They'll swear for people. A man void of understanding strikes hands and becomes surety in the presence of his friends. Doctrine and Covenant 78 and 10. Otherwise, Satan seeks to turn their hearts away from the truth with sexual sins, with adultery, that they become blinded and understand not the things which are prepared for them. Because when you have adultery, you lack under you're void of understanding. And it blinds your understanding. Proverbs 7 and 7. And beheld among the simple ones, discern among the youths, a young man void of understanding. This is a man who slept with a harlot in the book of Proverbs chapter 7. You should, he became void of understanding. And what did she do? She did sorcery and magic on him. And she shot fiery darts at him in his heart. And she destroyed him. Why you should have spiritual understanding. Doctrine and Covenants 93 and 19. 
I give unto you these sayings that you may understand and know how to worship and know what you worship, that you may come unto the Father in my name and in due time receive of his fullness. So you need to know who you worship and what you worship. Psalms 119 verse 73. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. Some people need to pray this prayer in Psalms 119 and 73. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. Proverbs 4 and 5. Get wisdom. And get understanding. Forget it not. So what aren't you supposed to forget? To get wisdom and get understanding. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Don't even turn away. Decline from these words to get wisdom and get understanding. Because if these people had understanding, they wouldn't be sleeping with whorelets. They wouldn't be selling their bodies. And they wouldn't be committing adultery. The adulteress and the lustful man is without understanding. Read Proverbs chapter 7. The strange woman destroys men who are void of understanding. Strange women destroy men who are void of understanding. Evil women destroy men who are without understanding. Proverbs 7 and 7. And beheld among the simple ones, I discern among the youths a young man void of understanding. Proverbs 6 and 32, but whosoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. He that does it destroys his own soul. Proverbs 18 and 22, whosoever findeth a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. And you also know a man of understanding has favor. Even without a wife, a man who has understanding has favor. We went up, if you look in the first video before this, I went through a man of understanding has an excellent spirit, but a, and also that a man of understanding has favor. But a man of understanding would get a wife. He wouldn't be sleeping with a whore. Pro, Proverbs 13 and 15. Good understanding gives favor. So when you have good understanding, this is without a woman. Just you having good understanding give its favor. But the way of transgressions is hard. So you have favor when you have understanding. When you have a wife, you have favor. But a man of understanding would get himself a wife. He wouldn't be getting himself a whore. Because he would understand all the bad things that come with having a whore. Now, that same man who was void of understanding... Proverbs 7 and 21, with her, a strange woman, with her much fair speech, you know, promising him this, promising him that, saying all kind, everything that he wants to hear, she caused him to yield with the flattering of her lips. She forced him and God said he's going to cut out all flattering lips. He's going to cut out the tongues of those who speak flattery. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield to have sex with her, you need to read Proverbs chapter 7. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. Forced him. She used force. She used flattery. Flattery is a form of manipulation. Flattery is a form of witchcraft. And force is a form of witchcraft. You need to read Proverbs chapter 7 and 6. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. So men of who don't have understanding, they get evil. Evil women destroy them. Strange women destroy them. Whores destroy them with their flattering speech. And their force. And their witchcraft. Pro, Romans 3 and 13. Their throat is an open sculpture. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of afs is under their lips. Witchcraft. They even put witchcraft in their mouth. Psalms 140 and 3. You hear these women talking about they suck this soul out. What the f- What the what? You don't understand what people are saying. I suck the life out of that man. I suck this soul out. These women are disgusting. They're not even women. They're evil. And they're on demon time. 
They know what they're doing spiritually. A lot of these women are into sex magic. Psalms 140 and 3. They swallowed his kids. I would never say that. I would never say some nonsense like that. Because they're speaking. It's deeper than what you think. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Words can be casting spells. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Their po- Psalms 58 and 4. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Job 20 and 16. He shall suck the poison of ass. The viper's tongue shall slay him. Men void of understanding. The viper's tongue shall slay him. Deceit, flattering words. Going back to that same woman in Proverbs chapter 7. So she caught him and kissed him. And with her imputed in face, she said unto him. Force, caught him, kissed him, sexual sins. Read Proverbs chapter 7. I just went through a few of it. For she has cast down many wounded. Yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. When you're with a whore, you can't hold money. Because strong men restrain, re- retain riches. But when you're with a whorelet, you cannot keep your money. Because you have been slain, you've been made weak. That's why it tells you in Proverbs 7 and 20, 26. For she has cast down many. She brings you down. A woman can bring a man to a piece of bread. Yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. Proverbs 26 and 28, a lying tongue hates those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth works ruin. So these women who flatter you, their mouth works ruin. Psalms 12 and 3, the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Proverbs 11 and 16, a gracious woman retains honor and strong men retain riches. Do you hear it? And strong men retain riches. But when you're with some evil woman, when you're with some wicked woman, for Proverbs 7 and 26, for she has cast down many wounded. Yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. You become a weak man. When you're with these wicked, nasty women, you become weak. You become all sex addict, all kind of sexual demons following you and running you down. You don't know how you can't let loose of this wicked or cruel woman. And a gracious woman retains honor and strong men retain riches. That's why you ain't got no money. Because you're entertaining all these evil whores. Proverbs 7 and 26. For she has cast down many wounded. Yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. Proverbs 16 and 16, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? If you had wisdom, you would know not to be with no nasty whorelet. And to get understanding rather than to be chosen than silver. Riches and honor are with me, yeah? Durable riches and righteousness. Riches and honor are with God, yeah? And durable riches and righteousness. But how are you going to get these riches and honor from God? If you're not seeking God for understanding and wisdom, God gives you wisdom and understanding before you get the riches and honor. Remember, there's levels to this. You have to learn, go through the learning process. You don't get riches and honor when you're with whores and you don't have understanding. A man who commits adultery and is with a whore, he lacks understanding. He's void of understanding. God won't give you that. You need to get you a what? A gracious woman. Then you'll get build up. Then you retain favor. Then you retain riches and honor. Proverbs 4 and 5. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Is what? Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So this is why you see a lot of men who make their curses look like blessings. That's why I share Thierry's video. They do with their whorlets and with their money when it's curses. Those blessings, those riches didn't come from God. 
that woman never came from God. And you shouldn't be joined to a whorelet or an evil woman. You shouldn't be with no woman God never gave you. Or you're not going to obtain the things that, the blessings that God promised to his children. So this video was about the man of understanding versus the man void of understanding. And the things that happen to men when they are without understanding. And that you should read Proverbs chapter 7. Because strange women and evil women destroy men. And that's why they don't understand. And then, you know, they string them along and they control them and they manipulate them and they hold them down. And even these, some of these wicked women, they'll support these men, but these men don't understand that they can't retain riches because they're with them. And they're making these men guilt tripping these men that I do this for you. I do that for you. But these men could do it on their own. A man is supposed to take care of a woman. A woman is not supposed to be taking care of a man. But these low insecure females, these because they have no confidence and they're whorelets, so they're insecure that the man's going to leave them for somebody better. They do all kind of sex magic, witchcraft, sorcery. They'll sh play sugar mamas, pay for the man, do all kinds of things for the man to make them think that they're the prize. When they're the curse... When they are the curse for the man. And the man can retain his riches and his favor. And have all these things that they're saying that they're providing for him. If they were seeking God. And they were getting wisdom and getting understanding to create. To build. And to have all the things that God wants them to have. God never made a woman first. He made a man. A man to protect and provide. And a man is supposed to provide for himself. And God would make that man rich. But these, when he won't do that when they're with whores. They're going to suffer financial loss. They're going to suffer poverty. They're going to have rise and fall. They're going to have all kinds of troubles with these women. Because they're evil. Because they're whores. And because God never gave them to him. And that man doesn't want to stand up and be a man. So God can give him the riches and the favor and all the things that he requires and all his sufficiency, he would lack nothing. He would lack nothing. And he wouldn't have to be controlled or manipulated by some witch. I hope this gave you the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that you require. And that you should read Proverbs chapter 7 and learn about evil women and strange women. For all the men who come to my channel, stay blessed.